25 miles per hour. Shell Renewable Race Fuel. Reducing emissions by 60% in all NTT IndyCar Series races. We're moving forward with IndyCar because we're moving forward with everybody. Shell. Powering progress. At the Bryan's home and here at Winter World, we're into conserving. Conserving energy and saving money. Let us show you how to save money on your utility bills. Right now, save 10% off up to $1,000 on your home remodeling project and receive 24 months zero interest financing. So call or visit us online now to set your complimentary no obligation consultation. Not only do we stand behind our windows, we stand on them. The Acolyte, two episode premiere, June 4th, only on Disney+. Plus. Now, Southern California's news leader, ABC7 Eyewitness News. All new at 6, the family of a local actor speaking out just days after his death. How they want him to be remembered as the search for his killers continues. Is it safe to go back in the water? The local beach is set to reopen after being shut down for a shark sighting. <laughs> Grab your life vest. That's the message that dozens of Spirit Airline passengers received mid-flight. How the chaotic scene came to a positive end. You do not want to hear <laughs> that. Thing. Oh, no. or your oxygen Yeah, mask. you don't want that thing dropping down. Oh, oh my gosh. Good morning, everybody. I'm Leslie Sykes along with Rachel Brown and John Gregory. A lot to talk about this morning. Also, the weather uh, looks like you've got cl partly yeah. cloudy skies behind you. Oh, but you're a, still on that flight, aren't you? Yeah, of course I am. <laughs> right. I'm changing the subject here. I'm like thinking about people putting a life jacket on your kids. Oh, Are you thinking oh, about that gosh. on a plane? Oh, boy. Life jacket means you are going into the water. Right. So uh, I'm glad that ended well. Oh my gosh. Okay, yes. good morning. Well, let's talk about the fog. Uh, John, this is a graphic. It's not real. <laughs> but yeah, we are looking at some areas of dense fog out there. And some of those canyons and passes, they're dealing with that dense fog, especially the Sepulveda Pass. So if you are heading in that direction, you just want to be a little bit more cautious. Downtown Los Angeles, you're back to 73 degrees, heading out towards the valleys in our Inland Empire, Orange County, 74 degrees, valleys, Inland Empire, 85. And if you are going to be heading out the door for areas closer to the coastline, 66, our mountains, about 72 degrees, and the high desert. 87 degrees on the way. All right, we'll have more coming up in a little bit. Brianna Ruffalo's in. Take a look at traffic. How's it going out there, Brianna? Hey, good morning. You know, we're back to rush hour traffic, definitely, but it's been a little bit slow of a morning, so not everyone back to work today, I'm sure, but it is getting busy in all the typical spots, so you can see that 91 westbound really picking up. Mm, close to normal, not quite there. The five northbound as well. So you can see most of it is still on the lighter side. We're not in the full rush hour this morning. So hopefully if you're heading to work at the moment, traffic's a little easier for you as you're heading out. We don't have any major accidents out there, but we'll let you know if any pop up, of course, but so far pretty easy. John, Leslie, Rachel, I'll send it back to you. Okay, Brianna, thank you very much. We'll do this morning and just into our newsroom. We're now hearing from the brothers and the mother of General Hospital star Johnny Wachter, who was killed in downtown LA over the weekend. Uh, one of the worst parts is uh, just not being able to have a conversation with them again. Uh, it's one of my best friends. You're gonna miss his guidance that he didn't realize he was giving you until it's later on that he was always trying to push you to be better. You know, he loved living. He lived life to the fullest. Um, he, whatever he did, whether it was acting or rock climbing or even bartending, he did it 110 percent. Wagner was working at a rooftop bar in downtown LA on Friday night. Now investigators say that after work, he was walking a coworker to her car near Pico and Hope when he saw three people trying to steal the catalytic converter from his car. One of them opened fire and killed Wagner. Police have not made any arrests. The father who was arrested in connection to his one-year-old son's death has now been released. Schaefer Grindstaff was released from jail last night. No word yet on why he was let go. He was arrested after his son Cameron uh, was found unresponsive at a park in Palmdale last week. At the time, Grindstaff told deputies his son was suffering from a medical emergency, but he was arrested on suspicion of accessory to conceal a crime and child endangerment.
The waters off San Clemente expected to reopen today after an incident involving an aggressive shark. Eyewitness News reporter Jason Patel live in studio with the latest.